What do you see when you look at me? Ah, uh, she's probably from India or the Middle East, released from the hands of some political beast. Well, zero points for you, because you base my ancestry on my race. Couldn't look further than my face and see that I could quite possibly be from Kenya. Yeah, that's right. That place in East Africa with the sparkling coast now, I don't mean to boast, but my parents were born there, and their memories are buried there, where the visions of a child are released upon the sea, where the voices of dreams echo freely. And you may say to me, how can this be, that an Indian is Kenyan and a Kenyan is Indian? It doesn't make sense based on the laws of geography, realistically, logistically. Well, my great-grandfather came from India to Africa by the ocean, traveled to put forth his plans for the future into motion. On the shores of a dream, he fought to keep the people's spirit alive. He taught my spirit how to continue to strive, strive to dive into the unknown. And I have grown in the shadow of his memory, wearing his ring that bears his initials, Juma Haji, known as Simba, Lionheart, for braving man-eating lions. His visions are my Zion. And from his son, I learned the ideals of charity, to speak up for those living in the midst of calamities, to battle the odds and fight the storm, to know when to rebel, when not to conform, to be a visionary for my faith by transcending youth, to keep his memory alive by practicing truth. So when you look at me, don't separate me from my ancestry, for when you eat the fruit, you must thank the roots of the tree. My heart lies in Africa, my spirit thrives in Canada, my soul dreams of India, the holy trinity of my identity. So take a second look, read a cover by its book, and before you cut me down to size, realize your own histories before you claim me to be of one nationality. This is my rage, this is my rage. You want me to spill, then I'll spill on the page. I said, this is my rage, this is my rage. You want me to spill, then I'll spill on the page. Pages and pages upon pages and pages upon pages and pages upon pages. This is a song from my youth. They say you won't, you can't, you'll fail. I say you will, you can, you'll prevail. They call you generation lost, that you'll pay the cost to vote for peace or war, to resist or even the score. You'll become the lawyers, doctors, artists, writers, the NGOs, the CEOs, the pacifists, the fighters, the decision makers, the haters, the teachers, the waiters. This is for the one who gets stuffed in his locker every week, who is strong, though they call him weak. This is for the one who puts makeup on in the school bathroom, borrowing her friend's eyeliner and perfume. This is for the one with dreams too big for them to understand, who gets shut down every time he raises his hand. This is for the one who can't see beyond straight A's. She can't see beyond straight A's and lives for the praise. This is for the one who writes lyrics in the library. That girl was me. Nowhere but the page and the stage to set her free. This is for the one applying to a program he hates so he can appease his parents by predicting interest rates. This is a song from my youth. They say you won't, you can't, you'll fail. I say you will, you can, you'll prevail. And when given the choice, when given the choice, Will you shed blood or shed light? I said, when given the choice, when given the choice, will you shed blood or shed light? Shed light. You won't. You can't. You'll fail. I will. I can. I'll prevail. When they say no, you say yes. No. Yes. No. When they say no, you say yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. I said when they say no, you say yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Thank you.